Hey guys, HerbQuest here. The following is footage of the week leading up to the final hour of Dead Man Mode Tournament 7, the one that just happened this September 2017. The final hour is not included in these clips, however, I will be uploading that separately. And just as a heads up, I did make it to the final 20 or so people left over on the islands. But here is some of the live commentary I managed to capture over the course of the week. Hey guys, HerbQuest here. Day one of the $20,000 Dead Man Invitational Tournament. In about eight minutes, we will be six hours into the tournament. I did Priest in Peril already. I'm up to seven quest points here. And 309 total level with 71 agility. I've got a few minutes left on my skull, so I'm just getting a couple extra agility levels. And then I'm going to cash in these keys. Actually, with only two minutes and 30 seconds left. I think I might just make this my last lap and start wandering toward the lever. And I won't bother pausing the recording. I'll just keep you guys with me and we'll make it a five minute clip. Two and a half minutes to get there. A minute of me explaining here. And a minute to loot these keys. And also maybe there'll be an encounter on the way there because this is live commentary. I don't really have the time to edit any clips through this because it's a tournament. Seasonal, I will take the time to edit my clips, take out the mouse clicks, take out the background noises, etc. And I went ahead and did an extra lap anyway while I was rambling there. Nice. We'll finish the lap and then start heading towards the lever. I'll safe up at the end of this course though. The thing about this course is the lower your hit points, the less the course damages you when you fall. So the people I killed earlier, uh, they were healing up to full each time. I thought that was pretty strange because it's like the Dead Man tournament. You'd think that more people in this game mode would be aware of that, but oh well, they were easy targets nonetheless. They were half out of food by the time I got here to them. My first slayer task is white wolves, by the way. I'm not going to kill them in the wilderness though, because it is not a wilderness task. Holy shit. nervous <laughs> a lot of times when I'm coming back oh is he coming back at me is he gonna poke me with his iron dagger poisoned he might I think he is no well, what's he doing I got full run if he does decide to get a full skull if you do bro oh I'm going back to the course That's probably a rune dagger, I think. Let's see if I get poisoned and or how high it hits. Maybe I'll get gap here? Nope. Easy escape, though. Gap. Ooh, he has the course, too. That's sketchy. I am tempted to go to the Mage Arena and just teleport. Home teleport, I think I will, because that guy's like... I don't know if he's right behind me or what. Let's hope there's no one in here. This could be insta-killed.
cash, cash, cash. These will be worth something at the GE. All right, let's cash in these keys. As we wait for the home teleport to go. I'm not expecting too much because it's still early game. Like I said, only six hours in. But if I'm lucky, I might get a little 10K cash pile. Some feathers, good for fletching, I guess. Uh, some junk food, earth runes if I want to do waterfall. Some bank food. All right, I'm satisfied with that, actually. All right, um, I'm going to just do these clip by clip as short little progress updates, more or less. So I'll see you guys soon with the next one, if anything else interesting happens. Hey, guys, HerbQuest here. Like I said, I'll be turning on the recorder when interesting things happen, and somebody managed to beat me to Salar and the Twisted with agility, but they didn't level combat stats too high at all. I mean, they were higher level than me, but I took them out pretty easily. They scalded on me, and then I came back with more food because I didn't think anyone would be down here. I only had like 20 casts, and I wanted to just get one or two kills, hope to get lucky on a Sinister Key, and yeah, that guy scalded on me. I came back, brought gear. He got a log out in as he was red barred, so I just chilled at where he logged out at, lost Agro on Salarin, he logged back in. Attacked a Chaos Druid as I hit him. He only had one hit left to go, and he was out the game. And I got all these casts off him, which is really nice. And four Sinister Keys, which is just absolutely beautiful. I think I'm going to get rid of this Avento for the Irit. Oh, wow, and we lost our skull, so... I'll show you what's in the chest. Do, 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 do. So I'll be able to do Salarin for a little while longer, which will be nice. Let's see what this guy had in the bank. Hopefully something good. Oh, wow. 52k. Herblore supplies, herblore money, beautiful. Oh, peace, guys. All right, we're back with some more live commentary. Some of you may be wondering why am I wasting all these quarms to make weapon poison? And the answer I have for that is because one, I'd rather not sell the super strength potions to people who will use them to level up their stats. And two, I'm going to poison all my ruin arrows with them, just because I feel like that's a decent idea. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. I plan on doing some borrows soon, and I'll record that. I've also came to the conclusion that I should decide to upload all the clips compiled into like two separate videos. Firstly, the clips leading up to the final hour, this clip included, and the three from the other day, and the ones in the future. And then the final hour will be a separate video all to its own. All right, see you guys in the next clip. Peace. What's up guys, HerbQuest here. Last chest, I just got a pretty dope item. Pretty excited. I It was like the room closest to the ladder for where the door was, so I decided to do another trip. But now I have a nice safe box item. I'm not really maging, so it's not really useful for me in the final hour. But if I happen to like die or something, 
this is an instant rebuild. So, once this is in my safe box, I basically have no risk no matter where I go because I can always rebuild in one session of the GE. So I'm stoked, I'm excited. I'll leave the recording on for the rest of the borrows trip till I get this sweet little thing in my safety deposit box. Uh, enjoy the voiceover commentary. Peace guys. Alright, so over the course of the next few chests I did, I had the most insane borrows luck that I've ever had before. This especially in a tournament, and I really felt like I was stealing everybody's RNG almost, but I got like, they weren't quite back to back, but they were one chest in between of back to back. By the way, that clicking is me in seasonals right now. Decided to do a little bit of editing over this. Yeah, like every other chest, every third chest, I'd get an item that was really awesome. I'll uh, skip it ahead to where I show off my deposit box because... Coming back in with some live commentary, the safety deposit box is looking quite lovely. I've got an Aram skirt to rebuild. That Varric skirt is dream gear for the final hour that is staying in the safety deposit box. And a Torex plate body also for, I guess, to sell. Um, I'm going to hang on to that for now because it might be worth more later. I mean, it's going to be a rebuild thing. I'll sell the T-plate before the Arim skirt. It'd be ideal to... Well, it only elks for 28k, so that wouldn't be that great of a thing to do. It'd be ideal to actually just elk it somehow, or maybe sell it to a shop or something, because I don't want another person to have it for the final, because that person is going to be using it to cast, like, Blood Barrage at me. I'd rather have them be forced to use Mystic instead. Strategy, you know? Well, see you guys in the next clip. So at that point, all I was missing, really, was a tank helmet. And I decided to keep on doing some borrows in hopes of maybe getting a piece I could trade for a tank helmet or just getting some large amounts of death runes or blood runes and then boom, a tank helmet just out of nowhere. And then here in this clip, as soon as I get my percentage up here, another one. And there's some easy money right there. Hey guys, our quest here. Just killing some Kurasks right now. It's currently Thursday, so day four of the tournament, about middle of the day. Decided I'd camp these for a little while to get some range XP. Managed to get myself quite a bit of broad bolts from the Grand Exchange for pretty cheap. They only ran a hundred each. I couldn't buy any for like 2k at first, so I took like I had an offer in for 130 and then I took it out and put it back in periodically and eventually one of the times when I put the offer in 
they all just instantly bought for 100 each. So I threw the change from that back into more because I'm going to turn a profit on these. And even if this bot gets camped out by PKers like Barrows did, then I still have plenty of broad bolts to train with, so it's definitely not a wasted investment. I need broad bolts either way. I'm a range tank. But yeah, I'm training on these right now. Here's a peek at the stats at 31 strength right there. But that 83 defense and 83 range, so that's what's going to carry us through the final hour. And that 82 mage, I won't be maging during the final hour, but I have the magic for uh, tank reasons, basically. I don't know if I'll be able to get the level for bruise or not. Don't know if it's even really worth trying. Could try to go for it. See what happens. Uh, fletching, I don't really need to get up anymore. I've got my... Emerald Bull Tea, cooking, just got that for tuna potatoes, the mining, that's from mining the 50 essence, uh, and no luck from nests from wood cutting. I might do some wood cutting later, see if I can get a couple nests. I also might try to go for 81 Herblore, hit up Salarin again. I've been going to him periodically throughout the tournament whenever I need supplies. So that's always an option. But there's a little update. I'll see you guys after a bit with another clip. Maybe, uh, I'll do a borrows run. I did some more borrows run without recording and didn't get any items, unfortunately. I believe I recorded Torak Hammers. Got Alk those for a whole 100k. That was probably in the voice commentary you just heard. Ooh, there's a hard clue. Let's read this and see if it's worth doing real quick. Is that the lighthouse clue? Yeah. I actually don't have a blue dehyde body though, so no. Then after I camped Kurasks for a bit, I ended up with a excess amount of nature ruins, and I didn't want to sell them because I didn't want to give people mage XP. They were going for a K each at the time, so I decided to alk and chop oak logs in hopes of getting some bird's nests. And I got a couple, but it wasn't really all that effective and plus I never did end up getting 81 herb lore so those birds nests end up sitting in my bank throughout the final this turned out to be a waste of time later on I didn't record this but later on I did something a little bit more productive and used up my death runes and my nature runes with the next batch and was cast alking on terror birds with uh, not splash gear just like the regular gear I'm wearing. I splashed quite a bit, but I got some defense XP out of it too. Hey guys, request here. A couple hours before the final, about an hour and a half. Here's what the final gear setup's looking like. Got myself some amethyst bolts. This from Borrows, that from Borrows. And in my safe box, I decided. I, I was contemplating on what to do with this rim skirt. I could sell it for a hundred mil old school and supply my main. I could alk it for giggles. I could low alk it for even better giggles. I even thought about incinerating it with the bank incinerator. But I decided I'll just be a good sport about it and risk it for the final if whoever kills me is agile enough to actually loot the bank key then they deserve the Arab skirt and if I lose it then what's the diff if I if I get killed in the final what's the diff if I risk the skirt or not anyway so might make someone stay alright see you guys when I get to the final location hey guys Herb Quest here 
I got one more thing to do before the final hour. And that is right down here in this area. You guys might think it's kind of arbitrary, but I think it's kind of funny. And we'll check the health. And there is 70 farming. All right. Check out the next video that I upload for the footage of the final hour. See you guys then.